It's Tasha Lenise and I am back with another video. This is a five hair growth tips that I just feel like I want to share that I feel has helped my hair. I have done one of these before, I believe, for natural hair care tips. I don't know. I'll link it up above in the cards or down below in the descri description box. But I do believe that that was probably in 2019. So, my hair is air drying right now, which means it's still wet, which means you can see, well, this side is drying fast because this is the first side I did, but my hair is growing a lot. Uh, I'll insert a picture from when I first got my diva cut in 2019, somewhere up in here, and you can see the growth, the difference, the health. Um. So, if you guys would like to see or here I don't even have these written down um I kind of know what I've been doing to help my hair so please keep on watching tip number one um I have added pre to my hair care regimen probably around oh I gotta get back to you on a date I'll put it down here but I have a video on it and I know I did it last year and ever since that video I added pre-pooling to my routine every single wash day no matter what I don't care if I was trying out a new shampoo uh, I don't care trying out a new conditioner I added pre-pooling and the reason why is because um one I wash my hair in the sink uh, for the most part most times i do my shampooing in the sink now my leave-in in the shower so yeah it's kind of weird but anyway um my neck gets to hurting so i said uh something's got to change with me detangling my hair within the sink um and i also needed to get rid of conditioners so how do i get rid of conditioners you use them in pre-pooling now People may think that that is an extra step to pre but it's not. It's really, it's definitely not if you shampoo, condition, and deep condition anyway. Um, what I did was put my conditioner before my shampooing to pre shampoo, and then I jump into a deep conditioner. So I'm still doing all the steps. It's just swapped. But it helps detangle my hair so smoothly. The shampooing process is so much quicker. My neck feels so much better and I usually get to enjoy a show while I do it. <laughs> so pre pooling has definitely helped and it, I'm not ripping out my hair, ripping out loads and loads of hair, trying to detangle in the sink, trying to detangle when shampooing. Cause I feel like if I don't detangle now before I shampoo, I feel like all of my hair isn't clean because it's somewhere it's knotted up. And all shampoos don't have slips. So, and most people don't look for a shampoo with slips. So I feel like you need to detangle before. But that's just my little step number one. Step number two, which has always been one of my things. I deep condition every single wash day. Every week I am deep conditioning. I am going back and forth between a moisture and a protein balance. I also have a video on five deep conditioning tips and its purposes on, on why you should deep condition. I will link that up above in the cards. But um, deep conditioning, it is putting the moisture back in. It's, it's rejuvenating for me. Like I love deep conditioners. That top shelf is all deep conditioners. And I'm proud. I actually emptied one today. Um, but yeah, deep conditioning is definitely is what helped my hair grow. Number three, y'all, I'm kind of freestyling it here. This is crazy. <laughs> Number three, during the colder months, I do not do wash and goes. One, it's cold. I'm trying to lock in more moisture. 
um i don't really want to use gels although i have some moisturizing gels that won't be affected by the coldness and the air because in 2019 i was doing wash and goes in the winter and it didn't affect my hair my hair wasn't dry but i come to see that twist outs have definitely helped the growth of um my hair <laughs> i lost it for a second um so yeah during the colder months i was doing twist outs this is actually my second time doing a wash and go in five months and it's getting warmer so oh jesus please let it stay this way like it's gonna be 61 next week next wednesday and it's friday today so that's the only reason and i wanted to try out this combo that the video will be dropping soon on this um so yeah during the winter months i have you just did twist outs twist outs only protective styles no wash and goes at all and i felt like that contributed a lot number four i did add in using a oil i know i know i was never against an oil i just um honestly i didn't know how to use it i didn't know how to work it i didn't i didn't know i felt like it would weigh it down but um, I've been using Pattern Beauty Jojoba Serum to lock in when I do when I was doing my twist outs. And I do watch Curly Chris on YouTube. And she does twist outs pretty much all year round. So, and she always uses oil. So I watched her technique and, you know, watched how she did it. So it wouldn't weigh my hair down. And it worked out. It's been working out pretty good for my hair. Like my hair has been moisturized for so long like yeah it's great and tip number five is a tip that we all should know we all should love some of us love to hate that is not putting heat on my hair <laughs> um i don't have a hard time i don't struggle and i think i don't struggle because i am a youtuber so i'm always testing out products or doing this and doing that um i'm not a big fan of like heat stretch styles i haven't tried it i don't know how that works i, I it, it's something about me that says i'm not gonna blow out my hair and then put some curly product on it you know that's not a leave-in conditioner <laughs> and not expect it to curl up like that just don't work well like i'm just now trying to maneuver how much to use for what damp hair oil product and you want me to minimize that on dry hair because you don't want your hair to revert so yeah not a big fan of that if i do any style like um perm rise sets or flexi rise sets which will be coming soon it will be on wet damp hair more more than likely damp because i'm not gonna wait all day for it to dry but yeah no heat the last time I had heat was October, I think, of 2020, and it's March now, so time is already flying. Am I going to do it again this year? Am I going to do a year, or am I going to do two years? That's still up for debate. I don't really know. I, I don't know how I feel right now. I'm kind of, mm, I don't know. But ever since 2000. Ever since 2018, I will only get my hair straightened once a year. So now I trim, I trim my little flyaways when need be. Especially with curly hair. I feel like you really could do it with curly hair. You'd be like, snip, snip. No one will ever know. But um, I do my regular dusting of the ends, and then when I get my hair straightened, I do my trim. So yeah, I feel like because of how i take care of my hair i do not have to trim my hair often um yeah this is drying quick so that was my five tips on how i keep my hair healthy that's what we'll call this how to how i keep my natural hair healthy not necessarily growth i mean it is growing but if you have healthy hair you have growing hair so um and there's no magic 
uh, I do have a couple of hair growth oils. I have one hair growth oil, but I mainly use it to like take down my twist. I don't necessarily put it on my scalp. I always forget every single time. And then my hair be wet. Like I'll be like, uh, and then it'd be sectioned off. I'll be filming. It'd be a lot. So yeah. But if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment your tips. If you have any tips that have kept your health, hair healthy, then leave them down below in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell on your way out so you are notified every time I post a new video. And it does help my channel out so much. You all, my subscribers have been jumping. And I am so happy and I am so proud and I cannot thank y'all enough. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.